And welcome to the grand finale, the Let's Play Discuss, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess for GameCube. This is Ron Moore, along with Raven Specter and Tibbs. Greetings. It's the final countdown. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yep, and we're about it to It has enter. come to this. Yep. We're about to enter, uh, Hyrule, or excuse me, Ganon's castle. I'm just like... Yeah, whoa. The dark, uh, the, the fused shadow is at work here. Have we seen this once before, or is this a completely different scene? No, this is, this is back in the Hyrule now, but Hyrule Castle is covered in twilight, and Midna here, with the, under the influence of the twilight power, whatever it's called, is about to... Yeah, break. so those few shadows that we got way back when are actually going to make a difference. Yeah. What was Goma? So badass. Yeah. Midna on steroids. <laughs> now there's a trophy for Smash Brothers. Right, yeah. That'd be a nice summon for Smash Brothers, I think. Can you play as Midna in one of those Smash Brothers games? No, but she is a assist trophy. You can play her in Hyrule Warriors, though. Oh, cool. Yep. As Midget Midna or full grown Midna? Midget Midna. Uh -huh. They should have it to where she powers up and becomes a, a, a normal princess that she is. You can assume the spider, <laughs> spider though. Oh, cool. Alright, so the barrier is broken in Hyrule Castle, so Link's about to finally enter Hyrule Castle, or, or again, uh, it should be Ganon's Castle until Link defeats him. All oh, the fans watching, no, oh, you idiot, it's Hyrule Castle. Just because Gan is taking over doesn't mean it's called that. The graphic will tell you in a minute. It says Hyrule Castle. <laughs> For the first time since Link to the Past, we go back to Hyrule Castle. See? He's taking up some residency for the moment. Yeah. See, Hyrule Castle. Ooh. We're fully loving in Hyrule Castle. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, from behind, or from the front. <laughs> from behind it, from the front. <laughs> from the front? What do you mean, McMahon? <laughs> so now we got to fight these um, generic enemies again. And uh, a lot of this part is going to uh, take place outside of the castle before we ever get in. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a long one, folks, so grab your popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Link went, Link went into this game, James Ellsworth, but he's now Brock Lesnar. Right, yeah. <laughs> and he's going to end up fighting The Undertaker. Whoa, and here's Braun Strowman. <laughs> I've got the blood. Isn't he injured now? I think so, a minor injury for a yeah. few weeks. Yeah, he's, yeah. I wonder what the sparkling part right there is trying to tell us. He's a vampire. <laughs> yeah. In the same age, yeah. Yeah. Gangrel uh, is not thrilled with today's vampires. I agree. I wouldn't be either, which actually I'm not. Remember Vampiro? Yeah, oh, he yeah. wouldn't be thrilled either. No, uh, he wouldn't. Some grand. What? I like how after all the times you fight this guy, he just gives up. Oh, so this is the same ghoul or whatever he is? Yeah, King Boblican or whatever his name I is. Thought he's the like same an, guy. I, I thought there was a bunch of them. <laughs> he's on our side now. So he turned face. Exactly. And unlike the big show, he won't turn back. Right, yeah. No turning back. We should put like we should put in parentheses next to the title of every video on this channel, plus some wrestling talk. Right, yeah. 
Uh, he spoke. <laughs> he spoke. He actually cut a promo. What? So what did Minder mean by that? Like he he talked like. Uh, well, of course he he talked before in the game, did he? No. Other than a little grunt when you beat him last, when he held his arm and went. Rrr. So what was that moment supposed to be like? Uh, he can actually talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So can Link, but he never talk. Maybe that's why the thing is, like, people that are, never talk when they first imagine Link talking. Then, whoa! Now wait a minute. Link talks all the time. <laughs> yeah, or dot dot dot, or whenever in Link to the Past, where he say, "Oh, what's that, Link?" And as if Link says something, but he didn't hear him say it, but he actually did. He's got his own language, pretty much. Yeah, the Hylian language, or yeah, Hylian, exactly. whatever. Yeah. Holly, Holly, can I beat this game without a sword? Holly, unlikely. You, be you better, you better pronounce it right, Ronnie. You'll piss off all the fanboys. Right, yeah. You guys know anything about Zelda? When I was five years old. I beat Twilight Princess without a sword, and I need no faggy cheat codes. Mm, cheat codes. Oh, I thought I was gonna go inside the castle. Nope, still more outside stuff. Oh, jeez, I feel <laughs> like I'm playing Shadow Gate 64 here, except there's action. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> we're we're alive here in Shawshank Prison in in Maine. And wh wait a minute, Represent. there's the guards. Yeah, there's the guards. Wait, wait, there's there's that's gotta be Captain Hadley. That's gotta be Captain Hadley. <laughs> <coughs> well, here comes Warden Norton, Warden Norton, the Scott Norton, whatever his name is, that dirty rotten son of a. <laughs> no, Warden Norton is Vince McMahon. <laughs> Scott Norton. There's a guy I haven't thought of in like 20 years. Yeah. I tweeted to him like a few months ago and he favored in my tweet. I said, you're awesome in WCW. I remember your debut on Nitro. You're freaking awesome. And blah, blah, blah. And he, he favored it. I was like, cool. Awesome. Always cool when uh, a wrestler favors your tweet. <clears throat> Yeah, it's all he didn't had. he tag? Didn't he tag with Buff Bagwell for a little while yeah, in the NWO? Yeah, yeah, vicious and delicious. No, oh, jeez. That was the only time. I that know was what you. Time, I was gonna say that was the only time in his career that Buff Bagwell was good and that I liked him. I know what you like, Ronnie. American males. Oh, jeez, no. No, man, jeez, that was. You know what? At least they're better than uh, Techno Team 2000. Who, who, what do you think is the douchier team? Um, uh, the, the All American, ma uh, yeah, the American Males or the Fabulous Rougeau Brothers? Um, like uh, as far as like lame or just better heels? What do you mean by like, douchery? Like, <laughs> well, I guess they each had their own type of douchery. Maybe it doesn't fit. I think the Rougeau Brothers were a better team. I think overall wrestling wise and promo wise and. And heel wise, American males are just stupid. I mean, I, that music too. Jeez, I, I know that the Rogel brothers had that. Uh, the, We're the Mounties, uh, you know, wherever it was, but American. No, males, it, I, no, in the '80s it was that. We're the all American boys. I actually like that song. Wait, who? But American males didn't have that song. They weren't around in the '80s. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the fabulous Rogel brothers. The Rougeau broke out. Well, he he was a part of different. He had different tag. He had a uh, Pierre also as a tag team. He had the Mountie music. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, never mind. I remember now. I remember the music now. I'm talking about the the team with his brother, with Jacques and. <laughs> yeah, I remember the music now. Uh, I don't remember the lyrics, but I remember how it sounded. When when Jimmy Hart brought them to America and they started acting like they were loyal American citizens carrying little flags everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, they're better than the American males. <laughs> American males. <laughs> Who's saying their music? Uh, Prince Woman Vicar? Jeez. For the longest time, I did not find that little hole. Yeah. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky, Ricky, Ricky the Dragon Steam. See, it always goes to wrestling somehow or another. 
tricky way. Well, the, the three of us are all the three of us are always watching wrestling or listening to podcasts, stuff like so. It's like always on our minds. Yeah, Rick, Ricky. Uh oh, more more of these mummy returns enemies. Mummy returns, starring the Rock. There we go. Again. The Rock, yep, the wrestling. If I say Scorpion King, which is the Rock. Rain stop statue. Oh, dang, I didn't read it. Cursed swordsman sleeps before the sacred tree. Really? Whoa. I love the rain. Yeah, if, it does feel like the old uh, SNES Hyrule Castle because uh, it's raining. Yep. Plus, like I said, like Ocarina Time, the castle was there, but you never actually went inside of it. This is the first time since Link to the Past that Hyrule Castle was a dungeon. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. And Link to the Past, you go in that dun the quote-unquote dungeon twice. Yep. That's right, because, you know, I never thought of that. Wow. Yeah, in Ocarina of Time, you never go inside of the castle. I mean, you go around it. But not in it. You go in the courtyard, but that's about it. Yeah. It took me a while to figure out how to get in. You gotta go in the courtyard without getting caught. Or well, like, you know, once I got in there, I didn't get caught during that stealthy mission, but... Um, like to get in the drain hole. It took me a while because of a stupid mistake I made. <laughs> Yay, let's collect more rupees instead of saving Princess uh, Zelda. I was to say Toadstool. Zelda in Hyrule Castle. Your face is beaming. Money. Yeah. I got this torch and. Hmm. I guess something happens up there. We're still live here in uh, Shawshank Tank. 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 Not the video game. Root Ball. When you beat Guy, it sounds like Super Street Fire. It sounds like saying Root Ball, Root Ball, Root Ball. I was literally watching your most recent stream of Street Fighter when uh, you started the call. With uh, Spectre? Yeah, like the 40-minute the one you did the other night. Oh, no, that was Street Fighter 2 Turbo. No, he was... No, no one was in the call with me. It was just me. It's hard to keep track. You just did three of them. You mean I started the stream? of uh, The one where I was commentating by myself? Yeah. Oh, okay, because you said in the call, you mean Skype call? No, no, no one was with me in, in Turbo. I tried to get my friend Brian, but he didn't make it, and, and Inspector's about to do his own stream. And, yeah, and uh, Nikki was like, are you going to stream tonight? I'm like, how does she know I'm going to stream Street Fighter 2 Turbo? I never told anybody. It's impromptu. But she meant Shinobi 3, which is next Sunday. Ah. Shameless plug. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not that familiar with the Shinobi games. Yeah, Shinobi 3 is ECW. We're live here now at uh, Shawshank Stank Prison. Stank? Shawshank Stank. That's hard to say. Shawshank. Yeah. Shawshank Stank Prison here. Live in Port Bunk. That sounds like a porno. Shawshank. Yeah. Yeah. So Port Port Bunk, Maine here. Port Bunk, Maine, whatever city it is. And here in Shawshank Stank Prison. And, uh... In, Captain, in Banger. Captain Byron, Byron had it now, douchebag. Uh, former linebacker for Shawshank High School. School. <laughs> oh, you're a liar, King. What has happened to my ski? What do you mean I'm a liar? Well, you don't tell the truth. That's what a liar does, King. And one time at WrestleMania 19, uh, Flair got knocked off the apron, and the King goes, Oh, he had to touch Flair like that, JR. Flair had no business on the apron, damn it! Was, I, that is one of my favorite JR flipouts. Flair had no business up there, damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Flair had no business on the ring apron, damn it! <laughs> that oh, one time, him, him, and Paul Heyman, him and Paul Heyman were going at it, and you <clears> couldn't, <throat> I was wondering if that was a shoot. They were really getting pissed off at each other, but nope. They just had that great chemistry with each other. I also used to love um, 
Uh, if there's a moment at WrestleMania 6 with Gorilla and Jesse, I forget the match, but someone, one of the faces does something he shouldn't. Because you know how Jesse would always stick him for the for the heels and say he didn't see certain things, you know, like heel announcers do. But in this one instance, the face did something blatant that Monsoon would, wouldn't have been able to deny. And he's like, you saw that, didn't you, Monsoon? And Monsoon's like, uh, no, I didn't see that. And Jesse's like, what? And you hit Gorilla go, I was getting something to drink. <laughs> and when when someone's doing away oh. the audience gorilla uh, jesse's like you had so many hot dogs you couldn't stand up yeah right <laughs> well hot dog we're now in the next part of the castle that's it yeah, we're going cut. in. Yeah, have a quick cut through all that. Nothing much to see there. We're finally inside Hyrule Castle. <clears throat> Here's where the fun begins. Whoa. Uh, more, uh, uh, I was thinking Twilight enemies. Nope. You know, <laughs> it's that, gremlins. Yeah. You can go through those, right? They don't, they don't really barricade you in, do they? Yeah, they do. Oh, well, how come they can run through it? I guess because they're the enemies. That's that fair gorilla. Why does the hero of time get a sword and they get a weak, uh, with some weak daggers? Cause they're not the hero of time, Jess. Uh huh. You're supposed to be a broadcast journalist. What are you doing? Yeah. The music in this castle sound familiar? Yeah. It's the uh, high roll <laughs> castle music in a link to the past, mixed with Ganon's theme. Yeah, they really did a fantastic job. Yeah, it was awesome. Ryan, you should do like a uh, a uh, video dedicated to probably a lot of um, stuff that people might not know about Zelda or like little things. I think that'd be interesting. I'm getting a lot of knowledge just from you telling me about this stuff that I wasn't even aware of. It was <laughs> the Zelda series. <laughs> Well, I love all those articles you see on Facebook. 15 facts that you never knew about <clears throat> such and such. And when it yeah. comes to Zelda, like, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Or same thing about wrestling, except there's one I didn't know about JR. Um, when he left WCW, he still had a radio show or something, and he plugged WrestleMania 9 as a way of saying, F you, WCW, for firing me. And he was, it was oh, WCW yeah. radio or something like that. Yeah, and he plugged WrestleMania That's awesome. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I think you mentioned that before, or I, I heard it from somewhere, but yeah. Something I never knew, I've been, as you guys know, I've been watching, uh, two, uh, yeah, Tuesday Night Titans on the, um, the, on the network all day, and one thing I didn't know was that back in the 80s, Adrian Adonis and, uh, Dick Murdoch were actually tag team champions. I, I either completely forgot that or never knew it at all. Uh, Adrian Adonis. Now there's a team for you. Yeah. He wasn't adorable yet, though. All right, here's this big night. Oh, ouch! Move out the way, idiot! Look at look at that. Link is such a lame performer. He doesn't even sell. Yeah. He how can he didn't sell, Gorilla? What do you mean? He's not an insurance. He's not selling it. What do you mean sell, Jesse? Oh, come on, Gorilla. He's not Kane. He's not the demon Kane. It's gotta be Kane. He's selling. There are rare times where, I think Teddy Long did it at the 99 Rumble, where um, oh, yeah. someone w won't kick out and they have to make the three. And I, one of the kayfabe commentaries, Sean Oliver was talking to Teddy Long, because Teddy Long was a referee. And Vince, he even said, Vince would rather you just make the three than make it, rather than make it look fake. Just make, you know, if the guy doesn't kick out, count him down so it doesn't look fake. And Sean Oliver said he once asked George Steele, what do you do, or one of the old timers, what do you do if it's Hogan's shoulders on the mat and he forgets to kick out? He said, you go one, two, oh, grab your chest like you're having a heart attack. <laughs> I remember Nick Patrick fake his neck injury when he was the NWO referee. Nick Patrick.
Roll out the blue carpet for Link. Hey, don't worry, folks. During the final battle, we will try to stay on topic. <laughs> right, yeah. There's, gonna, there's bound to be a lot of off-topic banter in this long-ass video. Yeah. We I mean, gotta what, put a disclaimer on this channel. I mean, what idiot makes this video a long wait? Whoa! Right. I did not know about this till now. Those are the high we learn something new every day. Yeah, the high rule soldiers there. For high, former run back for high rule high school. High rule high. Sounds like Highland High. Or high school high with John Lovitz. Oh, man, we got to fight these two big ass soldiers. Well, at least they're the, not the No Limit soldiers from WCW. <laughs> Storyline that was. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's the truth. Uh, uh, maybe the. I wish. I wish these were Star Soldiers. What do you say, Star Soldier? Oh yeah, baby. I couldn't be here live with the commentary, but yeah, Twilight Princess is a great game. It's better than Mega Man Five. I give you a hundred out of a hundred. Well, Star Soldier, I actually agree with you on that. It is better than Mega Man Five. That that is true. Man. I'll agree with the pansy. Yeah. <laughs> Shane's plug. Check out Let's Play Discuss, Star Soldier's Favorite Game. That's the name of the video. Let's Play Discuss, Star Soldier's Favorite Game on the S2K channel. One of my favorite videos on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these guys aren't pansies. Ouch. Jeez. I feel like I'm in the trial of uh, the cave of ordeal again. Ah, you missed. It's like when they ditch their armor, they get these magical gliding powers. Right, yeah. Ouch, man. Uh, shut up. You hit me. Uh. Good. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Bros. Broses? Yeah, bro. I like how Link just kind of, like, flips the sword in his hand, like, Come on! Come on! Yeah. You ain't got nothing. music for this type of battle <laughs> yeah but you know what? at least this music even though it's elegant and peaceful at least it's a good peaceful elegant music unlike the boring music in shotgate 64 <laughs> that's a running joke here apparently when we're dealing with Zelda games Shadow 64. At, 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 shameless just, plug just like star soldier hates Mega Man 5 that's how much i hate shotgate 64. if you guys don't know what i'm talking about check out our L gen 2's lp from 2010 of Shellgate 64. Pledge a hundred dollars and run your live stream it. Yeah. Donation yeah. request. Support Patreon. Yeah. That would be cool if you could come up with the Patreon. No matter how we can use it. That would be pretty cool. You ever wonder where the the items that weapons I mean in Breath of the Wild it makes sense, but in game in a game like this where did the items come from that the enemies drop? Right, good question. I guess it came from the side of them. Wait. I don't know. <laughs> That's a quick cut to here. You get on the chandeliers. I feel like Paul Burchell here. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, 200 rupees, even though I'm not going to need to spend it because I'm at the end of the game. Oh, but wait a minute. I got, the, I got the armor of ECW, though. Yeah, you know, I think about that. When I first got that, I'm like, I'm at the end of the game. I'm not going to need to buy anything. I'm not going to leave here and go to a shop and buy something. Once I'm in here, I'm going to beat the game. But I forgot the armor of ECW. You can use that for that. No, he's actually wearing the armor of John Cena right now. You can't see it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Exactly. No. John Cena. No, uh, Otacon had that in Metal Gear Solid. Snake, there's four guys on the elevator with you. 
I know that man. That was a scary moment when that first happened to me. I go, what? And then you go back. Too late, snake. Now die. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Out of context. Kiss him, kiss him. When he pisses himself, and then in the second game, his sister does the same thing. Yeah. Yep. Like, Otacon, though, like, his face expression in the Kodak, Look out, Snake! There's other guys in there with you! Oh, man. Don't you hate it when you get on a platform and then you get killed by spikes in the ceiling? That's always fun. Yeah. Poor Mega Man. Whoa, tor <laughs> tornado warning here. As we Kevin Von Erich is uh, <clears throat> running around everywhere. You're Kerry Von Eric. Yeah, he, he, that's right. He was a Texas tornado. No, don't roll on the wall, you idiot. A tasty tornado? Texas tornado. Oh. Uh, <laughs> a tasty like a tornado. Cream. That sounds like an ice cream cone. <laughs> yeah, like right? Sometimes. Brought sometimes to you. A tasty tornado. This, this in, honor, in honor of the sequel to Twister, we're going to have tasty tornadoes at your local Burger King. Not a tasty tornado. Tasty tornado. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at oh I thought I had to fight that knight. Fight the knight. Sounds like a great eighties cheesy ballad. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool, like a nice power metal thing. I love power metal. I love like uh Critters, the song that was in was in that movie. Oh yeah, Critters. Awesome. I haven't watched that in so long. But... I got inside the castle now and how real. Ah, uh, again. I love this part. Oh, Ridley's back. Or maybe it's not this part. It might it might be. I don't remember. It's coming up. <clears throat> Come here! This is the part I like. Right here. What's going Whoa. on? What? What was that, Jr? What's going on, Jr? Oh no, it's the Alpha Marine. Oh wait, no, that's oh yeah. thank god. Yeah, that's right. It's all our buddies helping out. Nice, nice. They're all there. The gaming historian, <laughs> Russell, and nice. Are they in Hyrule Warriors? No. Uh, that would uh, be interesting. Time to get the big key. Although there is some characters in Hyrule Warriors I would have never expected to be there, like Tia. I like Agatha. <laughs> oh, jeez. She is such a weak weakling, though. Back inside the High World Castle now. As they prepares for his final fight with Ganon. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> His Link forgot something. We are we are in Princess Peach's castle. Sure. Do 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 do. Yeah. Now I. Remember that comment we got in the previous video saying go in that one door in the castle to stock up? Do you remember that? Yep. It's, it's literally right before the boss. Right before the boss door, right before Ganon. Mm -hmm. And for, for a long time I didn't find it because it's a locked door. So that room, the, the room we uh, you had to dig in from the courtyard and I said I never found it for the longest time. That's why I couldn't get in there because I never found that key. Ah. Uh. And so we will get to that room later as these Hyrule Warriors are uh, very emo right now. 
They're showing you, showing you the way. I don't think I knew this back then. I think I just had to figure it out on my own because I didn't think of using the wolf's sense in this capsule. I know that there's a couple moments. Uh, there was a couple puzzles in Breath of the Wild like that where I, I didn't quite get it, so I just kind of winged it. And then once I realized what I was supposed to do, how the game was still telling you, I was like, wow, that's really cool. I love it when games, like, they, they give you the information you need to know right in front of your face, but it's so subtle that you don't know. Right. I like this part. Does the, the music get louder right here as we get closer to again in this chamber? I know. It did the same thing in Ocarina of Time, too, as you're going up that uh, spiral staircase. Yeah. I love Ganon's theme. I know, it's freaking awesome. I loved it in Ocarina of Time, too. Oh, enough of these battles with this Twilight blocking us in. We're Whoa. getting there, folks. Michael Buffer is making the announcements right now. Yeah. Uh, Let's get ready to rumble! Welcome everyone to Hyrule Mania, the main event. Who's this? His right hand man? It's a it's it's a Ghanim or Aghanim. Get it right. It's, it would have been it would have been cool if instead they put a, like a mini boss here that you would never seen before. Yeah, right. Like a GameCube version of Aghanim. <laughs> Which is Ganon. Wait a minute, they're the same person. That's gotta be Ganon. That's gotta be Ganon. There's, there's the door right there. Yep. I did pictures? not get inside this room for a long time. Yeah, I mean, here we go. And thanks to, uh, coincidentally, his name was also Mike, who posted that, that comment. I love how the thunder and lightning outside. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, talk, I got mixed up. I said, Thightning and Lunder. <laughs> Thightning and Lunder. Welcome to WCW Lunder. <laughs> If I ever make, if I ever front a prog metal band, and I doubt I will, that will be the title of our first album. Lunder and Thightning. Nice. Frightening Lightning is the wrestler's name. That's what Vince McMahon would come up with. <laughs> White Lightning, Tim Horner. Tim Horner. <laughs> I just listened to a story about him the other night from Jim Cornette. Yeah, me too. Remember White Thunder, Scott Steiner? <laughs> Last Allah, time. if you hear me. Yeah. Or Spectre knows my favorite quote from him. I, I said it in the last video. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me the <laughs> mic. <laughs> Man, we're already stalking up here. Remember Head Cheese? The team with <laughs> Hell Snow? Yeah. Remember Harvey Whippleman as the Easter egg? I mean the Easter egg. The uh, Easter Bunny. And he goes, have an excellent <laughs> Easter, Steve. And Steve Blackman got so mad and uh, kicked Al Snow in the chest, and then Harvey Whippleman got scared, ran off. Whippleman and Finkel are the definition of company men. They they would do anything that they were asked to do. Right, yeah. Spanky, too. Or Brian Kendrick today. Oh, here we go. Spectre, have you ever seen the end of this game before? Nope, I've never had. You're in for quite a treat. This is one of my favorite series of Final Fights in any game. I listen to my Final Fights. I know, not Final Fight. No, so, I love Final Fight too. Not the SNES version. Ugh. <laughs> I'll back outside the castle again. Oh, but the, the way the sky looks, looks like you're about to fight Dracula for Castlevania 64. <clears throat> Castlevania 64. Ugh. <laughs> At least that game was meant to be one player. I want to get Legacy of Darkness. 
because I heard that one's better. Yeah, me too. Whoa. What does everybody want? Oh shit. <laughs> Whoa. There's Zelda asleep or hypnotized or something. You're too late, Link. She's dead. No. <laughs> Whoa, there he is. Bring out your dead. Welcome to my castle. Bring out your dead. Ding. Nice hair, again. He's like, let me get up. I've been sitting here for a long time. Hold on. Yeah. My butt oh, legs fell asleep. I've been waiting hours for you to show up. Right? <laughs> Imagine how long he had to wait in Breath of the Wild. Jeez. That, that yeah. smells creepy. <laughs> Depends on how long it takes to get there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, it took me about 110 hours to get to him. Nah, that seems about right, I'd say. They show Ganon right here, or uh, 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 earlier, that, like the his obvious weak spot. <laughs> <gasps> Too bad it wasn't that spot on his forehead. Yeah. Awesome beard. They can win Waker when you jab the sword right into his skull. Yeah. I wonder what he would actually do as king. Well, we got a glimpse of that in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> oh, and Link to the Past in the Dark World. Yeah. I will risk everything to deny you, Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag not my king. <laughs> that should be the title of this video. Yeah. I didn't vote for you. It's like, well, harsh reality is he is your yeah. I voted Hyrule Tarion. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna go out I wanna go out and burn all the chariots and flip over uh chariots and burn people's villages and protest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, Minda, no. My Link Amiibo is watching this. I got that? Looks like she's gonna hit her. You know, like, what are you trying to do? That was cool. Uh... Whoa. Whoa! Uh, blocked in again. R runs always look so much more exaggerated when they're holding a sword. Yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah. I think I think Ronnie and I, I, I or me it was just me mentioned this to you, Spectre. But yes, the first part of this final fight is you actually fight. Princess Zelda. Oh, fancy that. This is, this is the first time that's ever happened in the series, I'm sure. But you fight her in a very traditional way in terms of Zelda games. Play yeah, some ping uh, pong. Yeah, or exactly. volleyball. Yeah. Like it wasn't in 64? Yeah. Yep, I mean, and I... Link to the Past as well. Oh, ouch. Wind Waker. It's like Kamehameha Dodgeball back in the <laughs> No, oh, man, I thought the force of that uh, that special spin attack would have uh, got, gotten Ganon the first time. And here's a bit, uh, I don't know if I already mentioned this in this series, but if so, I'm going to mention it again. You can actually use the fishing rod, and it'll still work. 
Yeah. Wow. They oh. always do that. They always they always purposely put in so you could like like the bottle in Ocarina of Time you could use. Yeah, and the fishing, the, I mean the fishing net, the bug catcher's net, and the link to the past. Yep. Which I thought that was the only way. I didn't know you used master sword. That's how I already thought it was the bug catcher's net. <laughs> I was like, how do you, man? What do you, how do you hit this guy? What? Are, and then I just, you gotta deflect his power back to him. And I'm thinking, well, what weapon could do that? It was a bug catcher's net. I never thought it was a master sword, even though I think they give you all this clue in the game. Cause I don't read anything. Cause That's awesome. Idiot. And, but right here, it looks like you're fighting Elizabeth Bartley from Castlevania Bloodlines. <laughs> Whoa. I love the sky in the background. Right, yeah. Ultimate battle sky. <laughs> I want to play a game. Let's play ping pong. That's what it sounds like. I think I'm passing. Don't know what that we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> And that's the game. No. <laughs> that was it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Yeah. That's right. I agree. You can't get to the you can't get to the destination without having the journey, so that's the main thing that counts. Whoa. <laughs> Talk about giving her a hand. Yeah. Wait a minute. At least Midna makes herself useful. Yeah. See what I did? Whoa. Is oh, that, yeah. Is that bees from out of this world? <clears throat> Whoa. Speaking of Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, it's Shinokuma. Oh, wait. No, that's... I love the music during this fight. It's so different than anything else in the game. Dark Brock Lesnar Ganon. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Give me a minute. Hold on. It's Wolf on Wolf. Hold on, Night Trap. I'm not ready yet. It's Beast versus Beast. It's Bam Bam versus Brock. You got it wrong, son. It's Barack Lesnar. Ah, oh, come on, Ronnie. Get good. My friend said he he puts the TV on mute every time Paul Heyman talks. He's about to say Brock Lesnar because it sounds like he's throwing up. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was that? Yeah, that music. ECW, ECW, ECW. <laughs> I love it. That's it's the, so uh, different. It's a crowd in the background, wherever they're at, chanting <laughs> ECW. Wow! There you go. Oh, get over there. <sighs> Attack him in his weak spot. Oh. That's like the weak spot that uh, It had in uh, at the end of It when he was a spotter. Cool, got a fairy. You're what, you're a fairy? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Oh, ouch, okay. Oh, fail. Failery, failery, fail. Let's dance, big boy. Jeez, how many more? I know, this part of the fight does take a while. Yeah, when I first fought this incarnation again, and it made me so mad, I was about to rage quit, and I had to get on YouTube and find out what the heck to do. 
I think I was still a human link. I'm like, how do you stop him? The arrows won't stop him. The sword won't stop him. And then, oh, you got to turn to a wolf. Come on, Ronnie. I beat this when I was five. Yeah, you got to turn to a wolf. Wolf link. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Actually, I think I was 20 when this came out. I was 26. That was something. I yeah. can't remember. I think you were 40 at the time. No, I was kidding. Yeah. And then I reverted back to 33. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. Spectre's real name is Benjamin Button. Indeed. Yeah. Ron, and this should be the last attack. Then you should do what a dog does and whiz on him. Yeah. Dang, man. I'm... All right, the next one's got to be the last one. You know what? I quit. Just stop the recording. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ECW, 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 ECW. <laughs> there we go. Finally. Hey. Epic day. Yeah. See, that's, that, that's an example of selling too much. Yeah, overselling, like Dolph Ziggler. Like Shul like Shawn Michaels at SummerSlam. And Hulk Hogan, yeah. Man, I don't know what WWE was thinking about doing with Dolph Ziggler's character. It's like, yeah, let's make him a heel, but let's make him as generic of a heel as possibly can be. I'm like, this is crap. Yeah. Yeah, God. what culture wrestling the other day had a top had top ten list, uh, ten wrestlers that are never going to get a big get a big push, and Dolph Ziggler was number one, and I'm tend to agree. Yeah, he did. Uh, he yeah. did get a big push in 2012. Yeah, he was really good then, especially when he had Big E and AJ Lee on his side. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see how that what happened with that. And then his early days with the Spirit Squad. Oh, exactly. All right. Princess Zelda is back awake again. With the classic Zelda lullaby. Uh -huh. WWE wants to think that their fans are ungrateful, but I don't think it's that. I think the writers and everything just don't try as hard anymore. And PG is a big handicap, so. Whoa. Well, here's my man now. Oh, I know what you want better than you do. Yeah, right. Now, stand Pay no attention back. to the man behind the monitor. <laughs> yeah. Vince is the ultimate one that has to say so. No matter what you write, if you don't like it, it's not going to get past him. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy how he's changed since, I, since so I, long I ago. will say this, though. He may be a stubborn old goat, but when he was on TV as a heel, he always made sure his character got his comeuppance, which is something that Stephanie never does. Right, yeah. yeah. And speaking of comeuppances, you're about to get yours, son. Here we go. With a uh, Super Saiyan Ganon. Where's the Super Saiyan bed now? Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> Until next time. We're live back now in Hyrule Field. And good God, what just happened, King? Uh, I'm on fire, JR. <laughs> good. What? Well, liar, liar, pants on fire, King! <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, what's this? Whoa! Well, good oh. God! What? What the bloody hell? <laughs> oh my God! My God! Wait. That's Ganon, King. Oh yeah. Ganon looking epic right here. That's right, folks. For the very first and only time in the Zelda series, you fight him as Beast Ganon, and then the man himself. Yep. Oh man. Whoa. This might be my final, my, my final, my favorite final battle in the whole series. Yeah, it's your final ba battle. What's going on here? 
You better hurry. He's coming right after you. Well, think about it. What's the one thing that we haven't gotten in this game that you get in all Zelda games? Aha, that's right. Invincibility! <laughs> oh, wait. Or invisibility. Whoa. I love this moment. The music, everything. Oh. Yep. This game's so good. Could you shed a little light on what we're going to get here? Ah, light arrows. The ECW arrows. This place is like beautiful and creepy at the same time. I guess you're on the plane of light. I don't know. The plane, the plane of ECW. Yeah. That's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> yeah, you could. It's like, are you walking on water or light? On light water. Is it also the first time Link and Zelda actually team up in a battle? No. They didn't win Waker as well. No, I mean it's the first... Oh wait, yeah, that's right. I came out before to Black Princess. Never mind. Yeah, Ronnie. I never played through Wind Waker. The game blew. What? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. I figured that would be your next one. Yeah. Probably Tibbs is maybe. <laughs> After Majora's Mask. Continue, continue this Zelda trend. Right, yeah. We're like a, a cheap knockoff of Zelda Dungeon on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Come on, Link. Use your uh, skills you used throughout the game when you would, back when you had to rescue uh, Colin, uh, Colin, Colin, whatever his name is, Colin Powell. And this is this is so awesome. Just considering what just happened to the castle, where you are, the atmosphere, the music. Oh my God, I'm having a nerdgasm right now. I like to ride that black horse. Uh, uh that's racist. Why does it gotta be a black horse? Why can't you ride a white horse? Man, I think in Breath of the Wild, I know a pony's in there. There's a white horse in there. I think there might be a dark horse in there too. <laughs> dark horse. You want to ride the black horsey? Oh, oh. That was a that was a major bump he took. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for what may be my favorite final battle, final fight in any game ever. Battle number four of ten. <laughs> An impressive looking blade, but nothing more. Would you hear my desire? Ganon, you gotta cover up that spot, man. It's doing you no favors. Right, yeah. Uh oh. And once again, Zelda's blocked out. For the Dark first Lord. time in the series, a one on one, single sword each battle. Man against man. Hero versus villain. Oh. Maybe this maybe this is the fight that the fishing rod works. I've yeah. never tried, I've only read about it. I love this. Look at this test of strength. Yep. First time I saw this, I was like, my god, this is the greatest game ever. Right. <laughs> no, they use the helm for Oh. He <laughs> can use all the skills. Yep. Link used the helm splitter. He used the big boot. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah.
It's gotta hurt. Oh my, that's gonna. Oh, yes. wait a Yes! He got him! Yes, they don't. Yes, they don't. Now's the time to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's how I feel Ding, ding, ding. The winner of the match, Link! And new High Rule Champion, Link! This is really cool. It's never specifically stated what happens here, but I'll tell you what I think when it happens. Again, it's like, oh, oh, the power ain't gonna help you now, is it? I love this. It's like, he's standing there. What's happening? Whoa. And then, all of a sudden, I like to think that Zant just used his magic to break his neck. But why? That that's why that's what I get out of it anyway. But why? And and I thought Zant was dead. No, no, Zant didn't die, remember. And um Ganon used him as a puppet, essentially. But didn't Midna, Midna, Midna use his power and like he just disappeared and vanished? We did, we're led to believe he died. So what happened? Just get banished to the uh, uh, prison or something? What the? <laughs> In the words of Swindoll, don't argue with me, damn it. No, but what happened exactly? I don't write the rules, man. <laughs> no, but I, well, I thought you knew. Like, see, you don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all don't understand the ending. There's always been speculation. Like, he just broke his neck for whatever reason. And he gave him his power. Why would he turn on him? And is that dead or not? Or just banished to the uh, realm of wherever they banish Ganon at in all games when he loses? Yeah, like the dark realm. Yeah. The gap between dimensions. Here's the moment all the fanboys have been waiting to see. Whoa. Ooh la la. Ooh, chicka wow wow, chicka wow wow. Brown chicka brown cow, chicka <laughs> yeah, brown like... cow. Now that's a Twilight Princess. Forget Zelda, go hit that. <laughs> yeah, man. Why would you want to hit her? <laughs> She might wipe the floor with Link. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Am I so beautiful that you know where it's left? Yeah, pretty much. He has a massive he, he master he, sword right now, if you know what I'm saying. I, I would go through all that to hit that. Yep. He doesn't have words. <sighs> <laughs> he never has words. Bum, 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 bum. And that is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Yeah, the back in the old Zelda MSN groups, we were just debating like the part where uh, Zan broke Ganon's neck. They're like, "This is the part where you fall down," <laughs> and but he still stands there <laughs> dead. And we're like, "I don't understand what happened. Is it one of those uh, cliffhanger endings? Like, well, just like the timeline used to be. What do you got to guess?" I think it was also supposed to be somewhat symbolic. Yeah, because I never understood. Like, Zant gave him his power. Why would he turn on his master? I guess, like he said, he used him as a puppet. And Ganon, I don't know. It's it's like Andre turning on Bobby Heenan. Yeah. If that helps. <laughs> well, yeah, but in the game, Ganon never abused Zant. I guess that we know of. You guys are idiots. What that means is, is that Zant um, wanted to take over for Ganon, and he broke his neck, and yeah, you guys are idiots. You didn't know that. Spectre's writing his review in the background. 
Yeah. I sure am. And it's a star studded review of five stars on five stars on five stars. Oh, Rob Van Dam. <laughs> what a journey it's been. <laughs> My first LP on this channel. Yep. Everything's peaceful again in Crackhead Village. And in the moron minds. Sh shut up. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> now, there's those sissy soldiers. I thought they weren't welcome in Thomas Bar again. Dr. Wally over there. <laughs> That's racist. Yeah. Uh, she's still, she's still, she's still a hopeless romantic, still single, looking for that man. Stop. Everything's uh, all dentist. It is over there doing that stupid dance time, again. Time to have, time to have a dance party. Jeez, uh, that was so stupid. I hated that. Uh, in that shop, everybody's dancing. Don't go for cold. Uh, if it was golden, I would take out all my guns and just slaughter all of them. <laughs> Alright, Colin. He's got the sword and the shield. Yep, the next link. Bridge of ECW is repaired. I'm not telling me that wanker, that yokel is still around. <laughs> Gomer Paul with a big pot belly. Welcome to Little House in the Prairie for the GameCube. This is Walmart, <laughs> along with Tibbs and Spectre. Yeah. Where well, you play as Michael Landon or whatever his name was in the TV show, I forgot. Charles Ingalls. Yeah. Or Swiss That's Family just... Robinson for the GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Screech, your friends. <laughs> when he get out of jail. Oh, right. <laughs> Oops! Ah, <sighs> oh, Snow Peep Ruins. I forgot about this part. Where are the lovebirds Arf, at? Arf. Our favorite couple. Yeah. Well, where are they at? Oh, I think we know where they're oh, at, Ronnie, oh, right, and that, what they're doing. Oh, they're yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. All right. Ah, the sacred uh, meadow. And there's our group, Shad from Crown Tom, the game historian, and Russell. Thank you for watching this mini movie we did here on the S2K channel. <laughs> This game reminds me of The Walking Dead in terms of build-up. It builds up slow and starts slow and slow. Then by the end of the season, ECW. <laughs> All the slowness. Oh, oh yes. Sean, baby. baby. <clears throat> Is that baby Moses about to get sent down the river? Down the river. I didn't, for, I didn't forget him. I just didn't want him. <laughs> yeah. There's Randy Orton Village. As Lila or Lila, whatever. Was return. Yeah, returns with her father, the mayor. Arbiter's Grounds or Gerudo Valley. <laughs> oh, 
We are live at the Roman Coliseum for WrestleMania 9. Oh, jeez. Andre Ross, Andre Ross, my toga. This is the present Alpha. Yet. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, the Roman Coliseum. Yeah. There's Bobby Heenan trying to run those uh, hogs or whatever. <laughs> a camel. Oh, wait a minute. That's an attack camel. All cameras are backstage, backstage outside. <laughs> Psych Metal Gear post credit sequence. Yeah. It's gonna be like I wanna be the guy. The game's not over yet. During the ending, you better be on your guard, you can still die. <laughs> yeah, that would say that'd be some Dark Souls stuff right there. Yeah. Stupid Dark Souls. The Twilight Zone in the background. Yeah. Well, they're not. I'm the only one. The rest of them are cowards. Yeah. Thank you. Happy trails to you. Oh, <laughs> I got choked up when I first saw this. Oh, uh, you're a wuss. You know this is fake, right? No. <laughs> It's still real to me. <laughs> With her till ass tear, she breaks the mirror. <laughs> no, don't go. Be, be like uh, Dixie Carter when she was holding on to Hogan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that in case uh, Ganon or someone gets power to try to do something, then they can't they can't use a the uh, toilet mirror anymore. Yeah. As I was about to say, um, uh, with the whole real stuff, the first episode of TNT that I watched today, they mentioned Doctor D. David Schultz, and I was like, hmm, that name sounds familiar. And then when they showed him, I was like, oh yeah, I know who that is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think this it's is like a, like a little skit where he's at home with his family being all abusive. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. I think this is fake. And so we're going to get start on the less discuss of Twilight Princess as we show the closing credits. Um, yeah, so I enjoyed doing this LP, and this was this started on the 10th anniversary of its release in North America, the GameCube version in North America, uh, which was uh, December 12th, I think, 2006. And uh, yeah, so and I had to do it had to be the next LP I wanted to do on the channel. And yeah, so very epic game. I remember having it in reserve since June 2005 before I finally got it out in December of six because it kept on getting pushed back and pushed back. And then by that time, it was no longer EB Games. It was GameStop. 
And um, the first day I went in, I tried to get it out. Oh, we're well, sorry, we didn't send us enough copies, so uh, uh, we can't give it to you today, but we should get some more in tomorrow. So I got the next day, and then right when I was about to go in, I was about to go in, when I was about to play the game, I got called into work, which I could have ignored the phone if I wanted to because I had car ID, but it was uh, from a manager I liked to the job I liked, and they needed my help, and I said, okay, I, I got plenty of time to play this when I get home at night. So I played it all night that night, and then discovering Midna in the Twilight Realm, and man, what an epic uh, intro that was for me in playing that game as the Master Sword rests again in the Sacred Meadow. Um, yeah, so, and it, but it took me like uh, over a year, a full year to beat it because life was getting in the way, and my job shut down, and then I had to transition to a new job, and had to drop college because of that, and all, all interference here and there. And plus, I was getting started on YouTube videos by the end of 2007. And so I finally beat the game, at, yeah, like December 2007, January 2008. And uh, it was, it's hard to avoid spoilers at that time because the game's old. And you can't get mad at anybody for spoiling stuff because it's old, it's old by now. It's not new anymore. So but so I, I, th I got accidentally spoiled by somebody that Ganon was the boss. But I was like, well, I'm not surprised either. So I had a feeling he was behind Zant's... Uh, uh, plan and so yeah the game was great I thoroughly enjoyed it and it's the uh, I mean not since uh, Ocarina of Time did I really sit down and really fully enjoy a Zelda game in a long long time and so uh, this is still the last Zelda game I thoroughly enjoyed I tried to get into Skyward Sword and I could not I just ended up selling the Wii and everything all together Satura or Wada rest in peace and uh, yeah so um, and uh, at least this game right here, like I said, it was the last Zelda game I already played all the way through. And uh, so, man, that was yeah, like 10 years ago. And at the time, I had the GameCube wi WaveBird wireless controller. So, man, it was all good. It was fun. And, yeah, I mean, just a very epic game. Very well done. Ocarina of Time on steroids, like we said. And, yeah, I give this game a 9.5. Out of ten, Specter. Uh, well, I've barely even gotten into the game, even bothering to play it. So I guess maybe I can just go with you on the fact of giving it a nine point five out of ten. I'll just go ahead and go with uh, what the majority rule says, I suppose. All right, Tibbs. Well, The Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess says you all know this is my favorite series of all time, and when this game came out, I actually. It's one of the few Zelda games that I didn't play on launch because when the Wii came out, those things were selling out like crazy everywhere, and I had a really hard time finding one. I actually didn't find one for almost a full year, and the two games that I got with it were Super Mario Galaxy and Twilight Princess, and I fell in love with Twilight Princess instantly. I thought in many ways it's like Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time on steroids. The story is great. It had the biggest and best version of Hyrule that we'd seen up to that point, and so the mechanics of it I really liked. In terms of dungeons, it's probably the best collection of dungeons in the whole series in terms of my point of view. Best collection of bosses. Everything just seems so epic. And the whole um, the Twilight Realm, it was very dark and had a lot of unique items like the spinner and the ball and chain. Um, this is really one of my favorite games of all time. And I have to say, is it my favorite game? It's hard to say if it's my favorite game on the system because Skyward Sword was also on the Wii, and if you consider it a GameCube game, Wind Waker was also on the GameCube, so it's hard to say. But in terms of like the second half of the last of the previous decade, it's probably my favorite right up there with the Metroid Prime games. So I would probably give it in term if I'm looking at it technically, I'd probably give it like an eight out of ten or something. However, I cannot bring myself to give it any more, any less rather, than a 10 out of 10. I love this game. Yep. And so, yeah, there you go. And that is the end of The Legend and of Zelda. If, if, if I may, Ronnie, I just want to make sure I say this to you in this video. Thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of this. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. And, yeah, I think I was going to mention that also. Like, this is your first LP, uh, first ever, what, any commentary done on YouTube. Yep, this was my first. And it was appropriate for you to be in the ending. 
Um, and now we got and J-Man could not be here live, but their pre-recorded comments are going to be added in. All right, guys, and here is J-Man's take on the Let's Discuss, The Legend of Zelda, uh, Twilight Prin I was about to say Link to the Past, dang it, Twilight Princess. Well, I'm doing three Zelda games on YouTube now, jeez. And so this one is Twilight Princess. For those of you who might be chronologically confused like me, and so uh, J-Man could not be here live, but he's here recorded. We'll do it recorded. So, J-Man, how's it going? Uh, it's going great. So, first of all, I'm glad you said something because I thought we were doing Link to the Past. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's all okay, the past. Um, well, uh, Toilet Twink Princess was a great... <laughs> I mean, Twilight Princess. Toilet oh, Paper. I, don't know, oh, I can't believe I said that. Okay, but... Okay, really. Twilight Princess... French Rush. Princess was a great game. Just not on the GameCube. So you get points off for doing that. Anyways, I played this Ooh. game, on, and I actually never finished it. Sadly, my Wii was defective, and so I didn't get to finish it. But it did a great jump into the Wii, yeah, whatever. It was not as great as our great, great Ocarina of Time. But it did take on the adaptive Wii remote controls, or whatever you want to call them. It was fun to play. That was a fun experience. Decent story. I think it could have been fleshed out a little bit more. Uh, another complaint is the whole wolf thing. I, I didn't like switching back and forth like that. It, was, it seemed to kind of rip off the light and dark world thing, which in uh, Ocarina of Time... Uh, maybe ripped off of Link to the Past, but they did it so good in Ocarina of Time that it, yeah, that doesn't matter. Overall, I give the game, we'll go 8.5 out of 10. And as we said in the LP, um, Twilight Princess is pretty much the Ocarina of Time on steroids. Yeah, to a certain point, sure. Yeah. All right, J-Man, thank you very much for doing the Let's Discuss. And God bless and take care. Yeah. Peace out. All right. So we guy also has some things to say about the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. He could not be here live, but just like J Man, he is here recorded. Well do it recorded. We got what you gotta say. What do I got to say about the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess? Well, to me it is one that lines up in the well lineup of Zelda games as a classic. Obviously, over time, it has, I say, become a classic. It really is just great. I remember the days of just playing this game for hours, both on its original uh, GameCube uh, version and, of course, the Wii port, which I had mostly, but it was still fun to play for uh, on both. I I was mostly hyped from the trailer in, like, what, 2005 or so when it was, when that trailer was shown with that like epic music, it was that was like the beginning of knowing this was going to be a classic that I would, will remember for a long time. And I mean, from everything from the for the first time, really feeling like Hyrule was a a grand land to explore, and just still keeping the traditional Zelda gameplay with going into dungeons, finding the main item, getting the keys, and just exploring and just finding out just like all the all the things that this game had to offer i mean this game is definitely a classic for me and a man i just i don't know i mean i can praise everything from the music of course the soundtrack is it's got its moments or got its songs that are really memorable some would say maybe too large of a soundtrack that can be a thing at times but i mean there is a lot of tracks in this game and many of which can be memorable to the hyrule theme to of course my favorite the uh, lake hylia theme which has that soft just smooth guitar sound and it just brings back the memories of this game and i mean my god the gameplay ranging from when you could turn into a wolf that was like like oh my god this is definitely a much more major change of pace or gameplay design from the previous Zeldas and of course 
Minna, a great companion, probably the best in the series. And story was still, I mean, basically engaging. I mean, not too much. It was just the same old, oh, save Hyrule. You're the hero of time. But we got this sort of more cooler, edgy, not edgier, but he would tell this is a more a badass link than before. But, man. It was a, I more, mean, darker, th- a more darker Zelda game than the rest of them. Oh, yeah, following in the wake of, uh, I guess, Majora's Mask, since it technically follows the uh, timeline of, like, that kind, that uh, that Zelda timeline, because it, of course, split off from, like, you know, the Wind Waker Zelda, and then, like, of course, a great time to Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess, all that. And it did feel like it, of course, the, was it the, the Twilight Realm and the whole everything with, like, the, was it the Phantos or whatever? I don't know. I don't know what those, like, weird creatures were with like the weird shaped head they had to kill to like get the warp the warps yeah the the twilight i don't know well that was the race that uh i guess minus people were but it's uh they're racist it, no <laughs> how about we erased this from history i don't know they're, they were racist towards light people no exactly and we were the light we were the light to shine through in this uh in this adventure and even though it's definitely the world of higher of hyrule is tame compared to of course the newly released of course at this time more newly released uh breath of the wild it was still at the time really fun to explore hyrule and like everywhere from like high Hi- lake hylia to the to this of course snow mountain or the snow caps to zora's domain and of course, Hyrule, like town and castle. Yeah. And it, there's a lot of thoughts racing through my mind, just trying to remember everything. Just like there, there was definitely a lot. This was like the first I say Zelda game that really just had a lot to it. Some could say Wind Waker was like that, but I think it was just padded out with you know boat sailing and all that, and just the large world of the sea, which in the grand scheme wasn't that big, but. Man, I definitely love Twilight Princess. That's definitely one that you, you can't skip. And if you have a Wii U, get the HD version because, you know, it's a little nicer. And, of course, it feels like it would, you know, you're playing on the GameCube. Some people, whatever, they'll have their problems being like, oh, they just tried to, you know, make it also like a Wii game with the motion controls or like with shooting arrows. I don't know. And, like, I guess swinging the Wii mote. Somebody say that's, like, a gimmick that's, Shouldn't have happened and should have just stick to the GameCube version, but I don't know. That's that's something completely different as far as how the game is itself, from the story to the gameplay to the music to the story. I think I already said story, but the just engagement, the grandness of this game, it is superb. And of course, score wise, it would probably be at least a nine out of ten. Yeah, and music, I loved how they did a rendition of the Hyrule Castle music from A Link to the Past when you first enter Ganon's castle. Yeah. And um, that was pretty cool. More uh, peaceful, as if they took the sleepy music from Shoutgate 64 but made it cool. Um, <laughs> so Yeah, so that was pretty cool. And then it mixed with, uh, it, they mixed it with Ganon's theme. So that was cool how they did that in Hyrule Castle slash Ganon's castle where a little bit of the Hyrule Castle music from A Link to the Past in the beginning of the game, and then mixed it with Ganon's classic theme. Really cool. And yeah, I was going to say, you're the Wii guy. I, I'm sure you prefer to play it on the Wii rather than the GameCube, but um, yeah, to me personally, I was not all about motion controls. I never played the Wii version, but I did play Skyward Sword a little bit, and I didn't, I didn't get hooked on the Wii overall, but yeah, I'm glad I played on the GameCube version. I used my WaveBird wireless controller back in the day to play it a lot. And that was fun times. And But, yeah, um, anything else you got to say about the game? <sighs> I'm trying to think of, like, something, just something that could make, really make it give, like, that last hurrah of, like, yes, this game is ultimate awesome. But I don't know. I think I can let it speak for itself, you know, as far as the... I guess this one is, of course, considered in the whole 
traditional style of Zelda, like Ocarina of Time and such. It's it does that very well, but I say still does exceeds in a lot of areas to I say push itself above, of course, Ocarina of Time. Maybe not as classic, but it's got a lot more fun things, I think, to it. It's a lot more Yeah. Just and, different style of gameplay. And I made a one hundred dollar donation that we got to live stream this game tomorrow. Shameless plug. No, it's all right. Gonna, uh, get right on it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much, we got for joining us. No problemo. So yeah, um, yeah. Thank you, Tibbs, for joining, and it was great to have you in this LP. And Raven Inspector, thank you very much as well. Indeed. And thanks to uh, we got J Man and uh, Jeff and Danny, aka Lancer Truth, who did commentary in this LP as well. Uh, I think Bob Phoenix was in some, and as well as Logan from uh, Outlaw Harvest. If there's anybody I missed, I apologize. It's kind of a long LP and like 30 parts of it and various commentators. So, uh, how can you forget about me, JR? Oh, shut up, Ken. You weren't in the game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I was. No, you're lying. What, what do you mean I'm lying? It means you're a liar. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so that is it. We are out here. At least this is LDLP. Did not take three years like the Ocarina of Time one did. <laughs> All right, so I'm Ron Moore. I'm Tim Spector. All right, God bless and take care. Adios. See ya.